Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What do we do? We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be June 6th. Sure, I'll tell you in an hour, but let's get started. It's time for. Hot yes! Well, the rumors are circulating. I'm not sure what to believe, but I'll just pass the word, because that's my job. Allegedly, Beyonce has given birth to a boy and a girl. Um, at the hospital where, you know, I was telling you they bought out the whole top floor, and Tina was gonna be on the prowl. Uh, well, there was heavy security at that hospital in LA. Uh, and also, some security was seen bringing in two car seats. Then here goes DJ Khaled. <laughs> who, by the way, I love. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So he's in New York City up at Melba's, Melba's restaurant. That's my girlfriend, Melba, who has a restaurant up in Harlem. He was at the restaurant overheard last night confirming the news. Oh. Well, you know, Khaled is good with everyone. Try as I might, I can't find a bad word to say about him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's that guy. Anyway, so if you hear it from Khaled's mouth, it's probably truthful. Uh, and shout out to Melba. And shout out to all the people at Melba's who were overhearing Khaled talking loud. <laughs> okay. So if, if this is true, congratulations to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If it's not true, the babies are due any day now anyway. But have you ever overcooked your meat? <laughs> look, <laughs> look, look. Young Kev was a week overcooked. And I was on bed rest the whole nine months. When the doctor took the cerclage out, because that was my problem, you know, I was opening up and, you know, stuff was weak. No, that's not funny, it's, it's real. So I was on my back the whole time. I could only stand up 15 minutes a day. When he finally took the cerclage out, and then I put it in a Ziploc bag, which still lies in my freezer at home. <laughs> Adds for seasoning. <laughs> but, um, I was like doing my best to shake him out. Like, okay, I'm not on bed rest anymore. What do I do? Can I do jumping jacks? Come on, I'm done. <sighs> so this girl, Tanache, you know her. I only know one song from her. She performed it here. I'm done until I'm gone. Um, how'd it go? It's all too on. I'm on one. Anyway, cute girl. All right, well, she's blaming Beyonce and Rihanna for her lack of success. <laughs> now, what the crutch is going on? <laughs> Why are you leaning on them for your lack of success, Tanache? Look, you're, you're a fine young woman. <laughs> but she's mad she hasn't become a household name. She's been making music since 2009. Well, you know what? Uh, Rome wasn't built in an evening. 
and Rihanna and Beyonce, this is their world, unfortunately. You gotta figure out how to get in there. She, she goes, there are hundreds of male rappers who all look the same and sound the same. But if you're a black woman, either you're Beyonce or Rihanna, it's very strange. Well, you're late on your discovery. <laughs> if you're a black woman talk show host, everybody thinks you wanna be like, Oprah. except I am. And we're about to go into our ninth season. I've carved my own lane. <laughs> you know, I, happy birthday, by the way. Uh, you, you know, you have no one to blame but yourself, Tanache. Yes. You've gotta make your own path. When you're gonna be doing something and you see there, there are greats already in that lane, you gotta swerve and dip and do. Mm. You know, so, no, there is no Barbara Walters interview over here. <laughs> and I am no pra. I'm just me. And it's, it's worked. I, I only know how to teach you by example. And by the way, you're big in our household. Oh, my son thinks you're the one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tinashe also thinks that black people don't accept her because she's biracial. How many excuses are you gonna make for your lack of career? Uh, I, I mean, you know, I only know the on until it's gone song, but I know she also has collaborated with other people, but it's their song, but she's been on them. And look, Mariah, Drake, and Alicia Keys are all biracial, so now what's your next excuse? Sorry, I don't mean to be so um, angry, but I just got here literally like a half hour ago. <laughs> oh, the glam squad threw, this, uh, threw me together. The producers are talking to me at the same time, but I'm behind a curtain. Say, a mess. it's raining in New York, construction everywhere. And <laughs> you know what, and I hate to say some of the same things a couple times a week, but the commute is real. Yeah. It's real. I'm still, no, Norman, I'm, no, I'm still angry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, I, I pulled up and slid through. <laughs> right. I have no idea who this is right now. <laughs> I feel very out of body. Plus, this weekend, I got a girl's trip going on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Look. My friend Reg lands this evening. We are getting on a plane uh, momentarily, <laughs> and we are traveling, just the two of us, staying at that hotel, dumping out that mini bar, <laughs> sitting at that pool, but with a lot of sunscreen. I don't know, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like to tan anymore. Growing up on the Jersey Shore, you know, you, the iodine, the baby oil, and that reflector. <laughs> I have burnt the crap out of my skin. Like, I don't need this problem anymore. So, but, um, yeah. So, sorry for the attitude. Remy Ma, by the way, stole the show at Hot 97 Summer Jam. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sunday night, everybody was out. Um, and she brought on, what she did, there's Ram in the, in the red hair, there's Ram beasting out. Oh, and her boob popped out too. Oh. oh, please. We saw full nip and everything. There's young M.A., she brought out all the girls, Queen Latifah, young M.A., MC Light, <laughs> Lady of Rage, Cardi B, and they performed with Remy, Unity. Remember, U-N-I-T? I know my people. <laughs> Remy uh, also performed Sheether, which is her diss to um, Nicki Minaj. This man in the light blue shirt, Suzanne, I, he, uh, you, you don't you? know any of what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> hey man, 
Hey, man. Your old lady dragged you here? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know, I know the look on your face. Do you ever watch our show? Yes. You do? Yes. So were you excited when she wanted to come? Yes. Are you having a good time so far? I know who you are. Okay, do you know what Sheether is? No. Well, okay, <laughs> let me break it down. <laughs> so cute. Sheether, of course, is the diss song. That means disrespect, diss. <laughs> She, she is the diss song that, that, um, that uh, the brilliant uh, Remy made about Nikki. And so she performed that, but what she did do while she was performing is put up booty drop pictures of Nicki Minaj in the background. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. In the meantime, Remy, what a great shot. How do I feel about this? I feel like, Rem, you've won. The women have picked sides. Nikki, is Cardi B the next you? I, I, I don't know how that works. I, I don't, they, they look similar. If you squint. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Remy, by the way, you know I'm having this big, um, uh, my first mixtape um, concert. It's happening in Brooklyn on July 23rd. So if you happen to be, yeah, yeah, at Coney Island, yeah. at the amphitheater. Oh yeah. I got all, I got all my uh, friends performing, uh, but Rem happens to be one of them. She will be there with Fat Joe. If you'd like tickets, then you go to Ticketmaster.com or Live Nation uh, and, and, and get them. And I'll see you on July 23rd. That's a Sunday. I think I gotta work the next day, I'm not sure. Ugh. So here we go. Demi Moore. She's finally loosening up. You know, she's one of those women, you know there are a lot of women that as, as we, I'll put us all in the lump, as we get older, sometimes we scratch for youth so much it becomes ridiculous. And at one point, like Demi was becoming ridiculous with it, almost too friendly even to her daughters and stuff. But she revealed on Jimmy Fallon that she does not have two natural front teeth. She revealed so much she showed. <laughs> now, see that, you know, I reveal a lot, but that's too much of a revelation. <laughs> All my teeth are screwed into my skull and my wig is screwed into my head. And never will you see natural hair or if they, if I was missing teeth, like that's too much. <laughs> but I dig that she's, she's 54. Like she's part of uh, us in, in that, you know, age. If my teeth fell out <laughs> at 9.55 in the morning in New York and we go on 10 o'clock live, uh, we press the button for a rerun. I reveal a lot, as you can see, but that won't be getting done. <laughs> People are screaming and yelling in the traffic and it's raining and I just like feel pissed. You need like two hours, I told you, to calm down from traffic. I only had 30 minutes. So pardon me, I'm calming and downing as I'm speaking to you. <laughs> We're wearing robes and slippers and negligees all weekend. Right? And we will run that mini bar. You best to believe. Me and my friend Reg, we know how to have a good time. I actually want to see the Queen Latifah and you know the movie Girls. Um, we need that in our lives. 
while we're away. Keisha Knight Pulliam, here she is. She didn't just show up to court with Cosby. She's on tour defending him. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> she has a podcast and during the podcast, uh, she talks about, you know, he's innocent and so on. And then this morning, she took it to the Today Show and continues to defend him. Well, she looks great while doing it. <laughs> but listen to what she has to say. Take a look. You know, it's nothing that I take lightly or that I condone in any way, shape, or form. But he's still a person. He's still a father, a husband, a parent, someone's son. Everyone has their own experiences and things that they've done, you know, whether they're proud of them or they're not. And he's clear that, yes, he has been unfaithful to his wife. And something that I've said before, that piece is between the two of them. And the only people who know exactly what happened were the two people in the room at that given time. What about the other 49 people behind the woman who's on the stand? I, I hate to say it, because I like Keisha. She's been on our show before, but you know, I, I got, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. She's chasing a check. And she likes the spotlight. That's why she married Ed Hartwell after knowing him for 30 seconds. I have no idea whether, he says she trapped to have the baby. Uh, she's uh, proclaiming like the baby was made out of some sort of love. What happened to that repeat money? Because they, they do air the repeats, not in Jersey. I don't see them. I, I have no, I, but what happened to the Cosby money? And maybe, you know what? Maybe Bill is, uh, maybe Bill, is, I know. Damn it, man. Maybe he's writing her a check. You know, come, come with me and I will pay the child support that your husband or your ex is allegedly not paying. I don't think this, that this will affect her career though, honestly. You know, she's good for a Tyler Perry, you know, slide through. She, she's good. <laughs> you will stop. Don't encourage me. But she, no, she's good for, you know, a Tyler Perry, a, an Ayanna Van Zant, Fix My Life. She's good for that. She might be good for a little reality show or something. That's what she needs. That's what, that's, that's not what, no. The, the, no, she doesn't need Ayanna. What she needs is, look, I'm arguing with you right here. We're not arguing, <laughs> but I'm talking to you. I feel like when you were raised a Huxtable, you're supposed to have a little bit of pride about you. You know, Sandra isn't talking. Alvin hasn't said a word, right? So why would you talk? I'll talk to you during commercials. We'll continue to fight. Oh, Apollo. Um, you were so wrong, yet so right. He wants a cut from Phaedra's Real Housewives uh, paycheck. Now, Norman said something fly this morning. Would you call them? Oh, I call it, because uh, it's an acronym, R-H-O-A. I just call it ROA. We don't have that much, we don't have that much time around here. Especially like when Roa. I come through at the last minute. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You called them ROA. I knew what you were saying, but I was like, who are you? <laughs> Why are you talking so cool? Right. <laughs> You're the same person I called the other night to get Suzanne's number, yep. and you were riding a bicycle I, <laughs> in Manhattan while talking to me on the phone. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay, so Apollo was claiming that Phaedra used his ex-con status as a storyline for the show, which made her famous. No, Apollo, no, no, she didn't. You all got together before she got the Roha, or Roa, or whatever you call it. You all got together before that. 
No, Apollo, she just liked a high yellow <laughs> little something, something. He's not a bad looking man. And the convict thing might add a little sazon <laughs> on the dangerousation of the situation until you realize, wait a minute now, he's unemployable. His job is to be my husband? No, nope, nope. You should have negotiated all of this before even getting on TV. And by the way, they're business partners, and when you're a business partner with your boyfriend or husband or whatever, there's business in the partnerization. Trust me when I tell you, everybody gets a paycheck. Nobody's talking about, Apollo, you're dumb. <laughs> Just dumb. You know that cute girl you know, but she's got nothing in the head? That's you. <laughs> and she got you. Oh well. So in the meantime, speaking of dumb men, <laughs> in bad marriages, you're gonna die. Hold on, put your seatbelt on. So there's a man in Kansas and he robbed a bank in September. You wanna know why? <laughs> Poor thing, wanted to go to prison to get away from his wife. <laughs> of it all. Okay, so he handed the teller a note. Like back in 1923, who hands a teller a note? Hands a, hands a, and then ha, said he had a gun, stick him up. <laughs> well, the teller only had, cause you know, tellers don't have all that money anymore. She had $2,924 in her till. So she gives that to him. And then you know what he did? Bait me, you know what he did? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he sat in the lobby and waited for the cops. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, oh yes, oh yes. So the cops show up, but you know in banks sometimes there's a guard standing there. He taps the guard as the cops arrive. He goes, I'm the guy you're looking for. <laughs> Guess what his sentence was that he received yesterday? Wow. Now mind you, this is a man who wanted to get away from his wife. <laughs> they gave it to him good. <laughs> Six months house arrest. <laughs> We've got more great show for you here, everybody. Got the hottest summer fashion trends, but up next, the very funny Allie Wentworth is here. So grab your snack and come on back.